Team Junkyard Dog here today, and we are taking a new step in our robot evolution. We are going to be molding our own wheels. Now, if you've never done this before like us, and you may want to do it, well, first, of course, you have to design your rim. Carter designed this one in Fusion. You can see he's got a little groove to keep your tires from slipping off from the sides, and he's got little keyways cut out to help keep the rubber on. These are made out of TPU, and they do have the uh, pulley on it for the belt drive, for four-wheel drive. And then he designed this mold. So what we're going to do is we have Vitaflex. We're using Vitaflex 60 Part A and Part B, and we're going to use, uh, I think it was Seth Schaefer, Carter said, use Vaseline as a mold release. So we're going to put Vaseline inside the mold. And once we do that, we're going to insert our rims into the mold just like that. And then we're going to pour the Vitaflex all the way around. We really don't know how much liquid to pour out. One way we could find out is we could put the rims in and fill it with water and then dump that water into... A cylinder to get an amount but we're just going to kind of wing it so are you ready to try this yeah all right so what we're going to do is first we're going to get the mold release put it on the mold let's get this party started not going to put very much on there the way we're going to do this is we're going to use go by weight we're going to use the scale to make sure that we pour out equal amounts and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Because when you're mixing Vitaflex A and B, you got to stir them up and then you got to mix them 50 50. We're just putting a really thin coat of Vaseline on here because we don't want big lumps and clumps and stuff in there. What do you think, Carter? Good enough? Yep. Good enough for government work. It says uh, stir well before using. We'll do the shaker. Use this 6 mil shaft from Tappy XL. Mmm, doesn't really smell bad. I'm gonna get this crap everywhere. All right, so what we're gonna do is, now that we have our mold release in, we've stirred up parts A and part B. I'm gonna go ahead and slip our molds back, or our rims back in our mold. I put a little piece of paper in there just to center our wheels a little bit better so we didn't have to reprint our mold and it's working out just fine so I'm going to set this to the side do not put mold release on your rims all right we're going to take our official scale we're going to put the cup on top we're going to zero it I'm going to switch the units to grams can you see that? I can. Stand behind. So now we're going to take some part A. We're going to pour it in here. Half as much as we want. I'm going to say that's enough. 14 grams. All right. So I'm going to put the top back on this. And we're going to zero this again. Now we're going to go another 14 grams. 10. All right, so we nailed it, 14 and 14. Now we're gonna take our measurer, stirrer, stick, and mix it up. This is where mixing is most important. You wanna get a good, consistent mix. Make sure you scrape the sides, you scrape the corners, you scrape the bottom. You don't want any pockets anywhere of this stuff not mixed up because it can create sticky and weak spots in your urethane. I should put food coloring in this or something. I have mica powder. It's for like resins, for dyeing resins, different colors. You want blue shimmer wheels? Hmm? You think it's going to mess it up? You want blue? That color? You want purple or pink? You want black? Coffee? Blackish green? Orange, blue, golden blue, you got dark violet, you got just black, gray, or you want to leave it white? Uh, yellow. 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 You want like goldish yellow? 
Yellow. Yellow cream. Do you want just yellow? Yep. All right. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. A useful product review. Now this stuff is made for like normal uh, resins, like clear resins and stuff. But we'll try to mix some in here. I don't know how much to put. Oop. Watch us not have enough. We're going to have three wheels, one color. Epic stirring montage. montage. It did turn it quite yellow. I don't think that's enough. But we'll see how much it is. Because we started with 14 and 14. So if it only does one wheel, then we know we need 28 grams total per wheel. Mold over here. You ready? Let's see what happens. Good thing it has 24 hours to cure. A little more, huh? Overflow pockets are working. All right. That's one wheel, right? And I would suggest that you put this on a level surface. So, 14, 28 grams was enough to do two wheels. So, we got to mix up more. Is it zeroed again? So, we got to mix up exactly the same amount we just mixed. Hope you're learning, Carter. You'll be doing it by yourself next time. All right, we're going to mix it up. All right, hopefully we got the color right. Here we go. A little bit much on that one. How come we got left over now? Tell you what. Just pour it in the mat so we can test it and see how strong it is. What do you think? Just don't set any screws there. All right. So there we have it. Our our messy product. If this is uh, too much overhang on this one, we can always just trim it out. But we have to let it sit for 24 hours before we can break it from the mold. Should I scrape some of that out, you think? Or do you think that will be in the way of the... Um, like of the belt, if we left it. I could always just scrape it off. So much easier though when it's liquid. Okay, that's all I'm doing. We're gonna let it cure. We're gonna come back in 24 hours and uh, wish us luck, fingers crossed. 24 hours later. Carter! Let's break these wheels! Carter's coming. When he gets in here, we're going to try to get these wheels out of this mold. I'm not very confident. Yeah, you're on camera. Are you ready to try to pop these out? They seem to be pretty stuck in there. It's been almost 24 hours. It said 16 to 24 hours. And uh, I don't know. What do you think, Carter? I wonder if we put like air in here. Do you think air would blow through and like pop them out? Okay, so we charged up the air compressor. Come on over here, Carter. We got this tip on here. We're going to try to blow them out with 100 PSI. I don't think it's doing anything. I can hear it like cracking. I was hoping that things would jump out of there. Like get pliers and try to twist it out. I really thought we'd have better luck with the air. Oh well, I guess if we mess one up, we can always make another one. We'll use more Vaseline next time. Times like this, I wish I had a resin printer because then you could do prints that don't have all these print lines. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Lord Rakus. I need a stronger screwdriver. I have a screwdriver for flathead. I mean, we haven't messed the tire up yet. That's a good sign. Oh, baby. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look. Looky, looky. We got a tire. 
Check that out. Here. I want to keep getting these out. What do you think? Pretty cool. Don't sound too excited. Did I like crack it anywhere or anything? These things are very tough. Very tough. Oh, two. That one looks even better than the other one. Impressive. I like it. Might be a good thing after all, Carter. 20 grams of tire. Mm -hmm. What? How does that compare to your current setup? Um. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse my French. We ripped the peg out. <laughs> Got to remake the mold now. <sighs> Sorry, we can just upscale the uh, peg size so we don't have to use paper. So this one got a little bit of uh, urethane underneath the rim and it actually glued the peg to it. So now our mold is missing a peg. Sorry, we only got one more to get out. This is 24 grams. And how much does the new tire weigh? 20. So we're saving four grams of tire. That's 16 all together. I think we're gonna print this mold solid next time. Dang it, two pegs. 50-50 on the pegs. But we have four perfectly good tires. That is a job for you. So, very, very cool. We had some good success. It's our first time making tires. The urethane was very easy to work with. Carter got a chance to design his own mold and his own rims. And it looks like they're going to work out quite nicely. If you guys have questions about how to do this, then just drop them in the comments down below. If you want to see more tutorials on exactly how to do this rather than just our experience, also let us know in the comments. And until next time, we're Team Junkyard Dog, and we're out.